What's going on guys? Me, David here back for another shave. And today we have co-stars. It's not just a focus in on one item, but it's a focus in on two. You know, co-stars, these are both Halloween type releases. Um, and they, I think they just go together stylistically and kind of their branding and what they're going for. Um, they, they just work, you know, like Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan, Mel Gibson and Danny Glover. Hell, even Cheech and Chong, baby. Let's go. But so first off, go ahead and introduce the soap. Bam. Going with Razor Ruby Undead. This is the Halloween release from First Line Shave. Is it First Line or Front Line? First Line. I believe it's First Line. I hope it's First Line. Shit. Wait, does it on here? Yeah, first line, perfect. I always want to think of front line and first line. So it gets a little bit weird there. So I was like, Ooh. so yeah. So first line shave, love the scent. Right off the bat, I popped this open. I was just like, <sighs> I don't ever really look, especially if it's a cologne, because a lot of these colognes are real like bougie and just stuff that I don't have experience with. So knowing the cologne offhand, of what it's based on usually doesn't help me much. So, but I get a real 90s, it's not eternity, but eternity-ish type of vibe to it. With maybe some powdery notes in there. I'm not really sure. I will have in the description what this is based uh, on below. So for those of you guys that are familiar with that cologne, then you guys will have a better idea. But I really, really like this scent. Probably my favorite scent from First Line Shave up to this point. Um, I did have Fallout that was given to the Patreon subscribers. To, to the Patreon subscribers um, that was sent out to the winner. Uh, congratulations, whoever the hell that was. I forgot. Um, by the way, if you want to join the Patreon, it is the link is down below. Um, I've also had the original Razor Ruby, which I really enjoyed, but still I prefer this scent over that one. And then secondly, it's co-star from PAA, El Fantasma. El Fantasma, this is uh, the next evolution on the Bakelite uh, slant that PAA released some years back. The original PAA Bakelite slant, I love the razor. It was, it was very popular in this house. So much so that Rocio took it from me. And in true Rocio fashion, she lost the damn thing. So, um... Anytime I wanted to get it again, I was always a little too late. It sold out. And then now here we are. Um, some years later. And now we got this glow in the dark baby right here. Let me does, does this thing glow. Oh yes, it does. It does glow, baby. Look at that. So you guys see that it does glow. Totally useless, totally unneeded, but it's fun. Sometimes you just need to have a little bit of fun, man. Um, we have a tendency to take shit a little too seriously. And I would say in this hobby, but no, it's not in this hobby. It's in life in general, um, especially, you know, a lot of our hobby, especially in shaving, is internet based. Um, all the groups and stuff. There's not a whole lot of places that you go into to be able to talk shape. Um, so a lot of our conversations are online. So you kind of see just people, a whole lot of people concerned with a whole lot of shit that really doesn't matter and or just have a huge gigantic stick shoved right up the rectum. Um, and that's just the, the fact of the matter. So even though the glow in the dark serves no purpose at all, it, you, you don't need it. It's fun. It, it's just a little fucking, it's just a little twist on something that's cool. So aside from the glow in the darkness of it, um, this is another slant from, I think, Fasan. I think Fasan, I believe, that has an actually more extreme torque on the blade. So... I'm really hoping I like this razor. I missed the original bake like that so much. Um, I wish I could get my hands on it and hopefully I could keep it away from Rocio if I ever do. But alas, you know, here we are. Hopefully this one is you as user friendly because I'll tell you that extreme ass slant does look pretty menacing. It, it is. It's a trip. This does have a fresh pole silver blade in it. So I'm really going to give it a, a try and see. Let me try it. One, let's see. So with there being so much torque on the blade, there is, I don't know if you guys could see it, maybe a little bit of waviness in that blade. I would imagine, 
I don't know how that's avoidable or not. I don't know if that's going to affect the shave. If I end up nicking myself, you know it's probably a little bit funky. But there is a little bit of wave in that blade. So we'll see. We'll see. You know, we got to have the full disclosure. Um, the weight is real nice. We're going to check it out. I do have my wolf whiskers soaking in some warm water. And I'm going to load this up. Also excited about this Razor Ruby Undead. Because I think this is the V3 base from First Line Shave. And I, from what I hear, uh, this thing competes with the likes of uh, Ariana and Evans. So, so for people to say something like that, that's a big claim. Ariana and Evans, the Kaizen base, is widely thought of as being one of the best, if not the best, base in the industry so if this is comparable if this loads similar right off the bat I can tell you there is a big difference this base is actually a bit uh, firmer than Kaizen it's not quite loading as quickly or also Kaizen can overload very fast so much so that if you load too much it'll get real gummy looking on the brush this I loaded pretty heavy there and it doesn't look gummy so it's definitely a firmer formula so that, that's uh, one of the primary differences that I see right off the bat again everybody's experience is going to be a, a bit unique but that's just from my experience using so I, I use a lot of kaizen there's no secret oh, going to a face leather Mm, very nice. This is, I do believe it is a tallow based soap. Let me make sure. Goat's milk. Aloe. Yeah, it does have beef tallow and goat's milk. Again, initial impressions, I do not feel that it is as thirsty as Kaizen. Again, that's not bad. That's just, just an observation. How easy this is lathering up. I'd actually compare it closer to something like Moon Soaps or PAA. Two soaps that I find to be two of the easiest to lather soaps in, in, in the industry, personally. Very, very nice. Good sheen. I have a little bit of extra hair growth. Because when I'm going to test out a new razor, I usually like to let there be a little bit more growth as opposed to my normal every other day growth. So this is probably about four days worth. So let's check it out. Oh, shit. I'm gonna stay away from the sideburn because the slant, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to get a great line off of that. Very nice. It cuts smooth. Holy shit. So, a big issue that I have with some of the lighter uh, razors. That are out there. I have a tendency to feel a little bit more blade chatter. Additionally, um, you have a tendency to have to put a little bit more muscle behind the razor in order to get a shave. It's pretty damn efficient so far. I'm taking a good amount of hair off. I'm still just allowing the weight of the razor to do the work. The slickness on this soap is fantastic. And I'll tell you, with this lighter razor, I am not, I'll even go slower so you show that there's no tugging, there's no struggle to get through the hair. And again, I do acknowledge I don't have super dense, thick growth. But nonetheless, it's 
a razor struggling, I can still feel it. And I'm, I'm thinking, this is probably the most extreme curve, like torque on a blade that I've seen in a slant razor that I've used. I don't use very many slants, but um, they say because it's positioned at that angle, that it more uh, mimics the motion that you would use, well, that you're supposed to use on a chef's knife when you're cutting. And it really slices the hair. And I really think that that might be coming out in this extreme slant because um, there's absolutely no like fight back from the hair. So it's going through really, really easily. As per what usually ends up happening with a lot of safety razors, I do prefer more blade fillings on this one. So it is going to feel, you're gonna feel less of a blade than they say if you have the Carbon or if you have the Rockwell 6S, which are my two favorite safety razors. Um, the 6S and the higher settings, the 5 or 6. This has less uh, blade feel than the Carbon or a higher le level 6S setting. So keep that in mind when you're considering buying it. But it was still pretty intuitive to use. I didn't struggle to find the cutting angle. This is a super easy soap to lather, man. Let me even push the water a little bit. Goat's milk, so goat's milk soaps in general have been a real game changer for me. I love the product that, that Goat's Milk produces. It's just, I am a huge fan of it. So now we're gonna switch gears a little bit. We're gonna have, actually have a little bit of a conversation of a very strange interaction that I had yesterday. So, on my Southern Witchcraft um, review, I had this troll come on. Look at that. So, the end of the razor that is lower, that is twisted down more, is leaving a little bit more soap behind. As I get towards the middle of the razor, it's wiping off that, that area, but that lead area. Now, what that means, I'm not entirely sure, but it is good to at least point that out. So, I had this very weird interaction with this with, with this troll yesterday. Now, I have a good time with trolls. I, I'm not going to get upset about anything that happens over the internet. If anything, guys that go out of their way to troll people, it's generally a pathetic act. Um, it's a real like cry out for attention and it's just a cowardly, generally a cowardly thing to do that you're hiding behind a computer screen uh, trying to get a rise out of people. But I do a lot of back and forth because I genuinely enjoy it. It's fun. People are coming to my channel for it, so why not? I'll engage with them. Sure. I'm always as vi as vi advised not to, but I can't help myself. I just, I always end up doing it anyways. But this guy, man, he was kind of a throwback troll. And what I mean by that, and it was funny because um, I was having a conversation with like Chris and Junior and Magic Mike. And I think it was Chris that said, this guy really seems like an old, this guy sounds like an old shaver. He really sounds like the trolls that were attacking people five, six years ago. And I'm like, you're right, he does. For those of you guys who weren't around, uh, five, six, seven, eight years ago, a lot of people hated the YouTubers, the new wave of YouTubers, like Chris, like Busta, then a little bit later myself, Anthony. And there'd be some real personal, personal like, like attacks on their character and who they are, and like, like as if some that, that person trolling them really fucking hated them. And the, the scenario that I had yesterday was like that. This guy was just very angry. He was getting very personal. And again, overall, I don't trip. I, I, I don't mind. But just because I don't mind doesn't mean I can't 
notice what he's trying to do. And he was really trying to like dig down deep and hurt my soul. Um, it, it, any trolls are welcome on my channel. I have no problem with it. <laughs> I, I just trip out, man. Uh, towards the end, again, I was having a lot of fun. Going back with him and just, he was just a silly ass dude, man. Just, just a real, just a trip. But after my second to last message to him, it just kind of hit me like, holy shit. Like this guy, he sounds really hateful and upset. Just really bothered uh, by the channel, by me. And I just immediately kind of felt bad for this dude. Like, what's going on in your life that a shaving channel that has nothing to do with you would piss you off that much? What are you lacking in life that me, just my existence here on the interwebs, what are you missing in life that I would have such a negative effect on you and your mood and your state of mind like to let some internet shit bother you like if you're getting worked up by stuff that goes on goes on online and i'm not talking about like reading news online or anything but just how people are on online when especially it's all good natured I'm, I'm having a good time here i do this channel for fun i'm not gonna get rich i'm not gonna make no money off of it it takes 30 minutes out of my day Two, three times a week. And just that, just that bothered him so much that he really tried to say some really insulting things. Like trying to talk about my grandparents. Little did he know. I haven't had much contact with my grandparents. Both of my grandmothers are dead. And I just don't have a good relationship with most of my family anyways. So, um, attacking my family isn't really the route to go. Because I just don't really get along with my family like that. <laughs> my family and I are not close. I still go play nice on holidays and stuff, but generally speaking, we're just not very close because we're all kind of weird. And just, but but you've seen that effort that he was trying to do to really fucking hurt my feelings. And again, it just it just made me feel bad. Again, not for anything that was said to me, but just the realization and the reminder that there's people out there like that, that this guy is so so greatly affected by my presence that that's what came out of it. It, 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 was, it was just a trip. Just by the end of it, I was feeling bad, dude. I, I, I was feeling bad that there's people out there struggling like this. Like, if my, if my existence on YouTube does that to him, imagine if he had, like, some real-life issue. Say a loved one passed away. Say he lost his job. Uh, just some real traumatic shit. People go through stuff. What if something like that happens? Like, this guy's a suicide risk, man. If me doing nothing, this should matter to him at all. Could affect him so profoundly. What happens in life when he feels, when he has to handle some real stuff, man? And it's just sad, dude. And I've had some turbulence in my life, but anybody that knows me, if something does upset me, I'm over it in like 10 minutes, dude. I usually say my piece. And you guys have seen me. I've ranted on here. But I don't stay mad at anything. It's not worth having that 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 hate in your heart. It's just bad for your soul, dude. And it just, it trips me out. It just trips me out. That he could literally hold on to it all day. All day. Just angry. So finally, I just ended it before I deleted the comments. I didn't need that shit show to be there. Again, again I kind of regrettably enjoyed it <laughs> the whole day. Um, but at the end, yeah, I, I just felt bad for this dude, man. It's just, and then I just ended it with, man, I hope you find, I hope you find peace. Like, I hope whoever you live with, whoever you're with, can help you through whatever you're going through, man, because... It's a bad situation if you're like that. I even found myself thinking right after I left that comment, like, 
I almost hope that he's really just that much of a scumbag that he wants to try to hurt people. Because at least I know, well, at least he's probably not going to kill himself over something. Like, I don't know. I don't know if he's, because again, if you're just an asshole, then you're just misbehaving because you, you're a jerk. Um, but again, if he was truly in a dark place and that bothered by me, I'm like, wow. And then he tried to throw in the Spanish words and some Spanish slang words and stuff. And again, I was like, I don't know if you're, I didn't know if he was Hispanic or not. His YouTube name was Johnny Danger. Um, so if you see him, just be careful. You know, you don't know what you're getting into with that guy. And again, at the end of the day, I'm glad he came at me because I'm somebody that could deal with it. Um, you've seen some of the YouTubers, man. Somebody says something to them and they freak out. They flip out. They get upset. You see their whole mood change for weeks. Me? That is just not going to do it. I don't function that way. And things in life do get to me. That's not going to be one of them. I don't know. It was just weird. It, it was just a very weird, bizarre. Again, the further removed from it, the more I was like, fuck, that, that was, it was weird, man. It, it was weird for somebody to be that way. But that was the end of the shave. Let me go ahead and rinse this off. And we'll go ahead and get into the closing thoughts. All right, I am back. I went ahead and rinsed off. I'm going to go ahead and dry off. Something hit me in the rinse off. He started talking shit about Busta. He said he hates people like you, like us on youtube they don't have no facial hair well i got facial hair it's not some arabian night beard but i have facial hair but i just he mentioned busta hispanic and myself whoever you are man um geez whoever you are man if you're a racist if you're just an angry dude. If you're a depressed dude, a fucking miserable guy, whoever you are, man, I hope you're all right. I hope you're good. Um, having that type of, those bad feelings are not good for you. Um, I imagine you might be watching, dude, because um, of everything just happened yesterday. If you're not, good, because I like good vibes, man. Um, life could throw enough at you. I don't need the extra stuff. If you want to come back for more, I guess, why not? Um, you could make another burner account with a fake profile pic and we can start it up again. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll make the next one Johnny Not So Dangerous. Um, I don't know. But guys, it's it ended up being longer because of the story. But El Phantasma, this is a razor because of the funkiness of that angle. I got that, that one little curve towards the middle of the blade and the end that is closer to that's further down was leaving more lather behind again i don't know if that affected the shave but it was no, it was something that i noticed so um gave me a great shave i am completely bbs so but it is definitely something that i want to play with a little bit more um i don't find it to be as user friendly as the original bake light slam because it does have that more extreme curve i think that changes it up a bit but the results are undeniable. I got BBS. My face feels conditioned. That means that Razor Ruby Undead did his absolute job. So it was a great shave, man. I'm sorry I talked about some, some stuff that was just weird. But again, that's what I do here. This channel was always meant more for a vlog for myself as opposed to be reviews. And then reviews just kind of came from that. We get a lot of pe I get a lot of messages from people asking me questions about this, that, and, what, and whatever. Um, so... I try to give you guys some information. Is it always the most well thought out? No. But, um, you know, I, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it, man. And I'm not going anywhere. So, Johnny, wherever you are, man, um, I hope you're doing well. Um, and I genuinely do. I know I giggle because it just it blows my mind what happened to that whole situation yesterday, man. It almost feels unreal. It, 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 it almost does, man. Uh, guys, it's a crazy world. Do your best to love one another. Take care of one another. Stay safe. Oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. She's talking about Johnny. I almost forgot about some of your favorite part. If you guys have made it to this point of the video, man, know how much I appreciate you. This is the end of the Ken picture right there. Uh, my son actually pooped in the restroom. And um, he was like, why is there a strange man looking at me while I poop? 
So this is gonna be the last you're gonna see of Ken Shave three two six. Check check out his channel. Um, that picture's coming down now. Um, I appreciate you guys, man. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you on the next shave.